All right. Um, good first win. I, I thought it was a um, good way to start the tournament. Three goals. Probably didn't want to give up the one, but um, got had a pretty good game all the way around. Um, I thought the team uh, showed good heart. I, I would like to say Eastern Washington was, was very good for their first time in, in the uh, tournament. I thought they were very good. I thought they came with the right energy. They, they made us work. They made us play. So uh, I commend them. But all in all, I thought the team was good today. Uh, we just worked on a few things in terms of uh, where we thought our shots could come from um, and, and what spaces that we want to try to do attack. But um, we got a lot of shots. We probably should get more goals with that number of shots. But um, I thought overall moving the ball in and around the area was decent. But we, we have to be better on the final, the, the final production. She was quick, really, really good shot stopper. She uh, she had much better spring than than uh, a, a lot of keeper that we've seen. She got her hands on some nice stuff, and um, I, I thought she was solid, very, very solid. Any other questions? <laughs> Yeah, um, okay, so Ali, you kind of helped to lead the attack in the second half. It was kind of a change in momentum. Um, what do you think um, kind of allowed you to step up in that position? I mean, they, in the beginning, they were kind of like pressing yeah. us, and then the second half, and like towards the end, they were getting tired and kind of like dropped off. So, like, both Mandy and I were able to like go forward and like find those like those spaces and then find our midfielders. So, it just helped us like get out and like switch the field. Like, yeah, yeah, what do you think? think that the team as a whole can take away just any of you guys from um, the win today, both positive and negative? Um, I think that we did our best when we were moving the ball uh, quickly and looking for the open man, even if maybe it wasn't the glory pass. I um, think particularly in the end of the second half and the beginning of the first half, for the most part, we were moving the ball pretty quickly, looking for the final third ball, really getting in there, getting some shots on goal, uh, getting better opportunities than towards the end of the half. Um, Think that we should take that away and work on doing that more during the games. When you take a lead that early in the game that's that dominant and you're up by three, is there any type of difficulty in like holding on to that? Does it does it make it more difficult coming into the second half to kind of like feel like you keep that momentum and that pace up for the entire game? I mean, sometimes we get a little too casual, as you saw, but um, I don't think it's hard for us. We just kind of need to like keep going and like keep passing and like finding the right like decisions and like making the right decisions but like I thought we did well keeping it. Yeah. Um, so you don't know who you play yet obviously until later tonight but how are you feeling moving forward? I think um, in games in situations like this um, it doesn't necessarily matter who it is as long as you continue to play. Um, we'll take a look at uh, the winner of Texas A&M and TCU. I've, I've seen them both. Um, I, I think both are great matchups. Both are good Good teams, well-coached teams. Uh, Texas A&M is getting healthy. TCU uh, played all the way into their conference final, so um, there's no easy game at this point. It's just a matter of preparation, and we'll take the week to get ready for whichever one it is. You guys are only playing one game this week. Are you guys taking extra off day? Are you guys taking extra practice there? How do you guys? Yeah. <laughs> yes and yes. No, I haven't told them yet. Uh, we'll, we'll probably get an extra day, but um, when, and, when and what day that is um, is, is to be determined. Any other questions? All right, thank you. Thank you.